One, two, three. My body flies over the ocean. My body flies over the sea. My body flies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. Sitting at the end, you did it right. Let's give ourselves a hand. That was the first thing that we did on the first day of school and the last thing we did. Now let's do it. My name is David Joseph Johnson. I've been teaching here 49 years. In my early days, which would be like 73, 74, it was a very different school. The school was full. We had two rooms of every grade but very poor. There was no technology, no phones on our desk, no computers. Our workbooks were not to be written in. We had plastic sleeves to slide over every page and write with a grease pencil and then wipe them off. I remember finding a, at a thrift store, I found a, a J stamper and I thought, aha, J for Johnson. This is what I can stamp their homework with so that everyone knows that I looked at it. J for Johnson. This is really appropriate. So I stamped it for the first day and I said, now, what do you think J stands for? And one second grader raised their hand and said, Jesus. I didn't contradict them. <laughs> Well, back in 73, I was a bachelor. I was about uh, 34 years old, and I was pretty sure I was a confirmed bachelor. And so I just gave my teaching its all. God had a plan, and it wasn't more than two or three years later, I met Nancy. And of course, you know the end of that story. We were married, we had, uh, 12 children, six adopted and six birthed children. Uh, of those children, they all went to school, all six. And let's see, I think right now I have 11 grandchildren here in the school. What's it been like teaching your grandchildren? Delightful. Of course, teaching my grandchildren is great because they're perfect, of course. <laughs> Just kidding. But they have really been fun. Um, I have had a grandson or a granddaughter every year since in the last 14 years except for one. This year I have Mary Lynch and uh, Eloise Berthium. They'll raise their hand and say, well, pa this or pa that. Everyone accepts that. I think I can say it in one word. St. Agnes means to me home. You know, there's Christ in every classroom. We, we teach it, we promote it, but what's, what's really wonderful is you can walk through the halls and get the same feeling. The artwork and the, the written work on the walls, everyone is friendly to you and greeting you. It, it feels very much that Christ not only lives in the classroom, but through the halls too. You really have the feeling like you're walking through your, your own hall in your own house. And finally, your service, Mr. David Remembered. Well, I'm not so sure I need to be remembered. You know, I, I'm just a second grade teacher, and I've been here a bit, but that's probably my only claim to fame. Uh, I guess I'd like to be remembered as a teacher that kept 
Christ with me. I try in my classes and all the things we do in here to, to keep Him always with us. So I hope they have learned in my classroom to trust in the Lord. You know, the, the spelling tests and the math tests are all going to be soon forgotten. But I hope they learn that they can't do anything in this world if Christ isn't walking with them. So my hope is that as they leave this classroom, they take Jesus with them.